Yo, 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 Jimmy G23 here, and welcome to my third third video on my top 100 FIFA 19 player predictions. Um, thank you guys for watching my previous two videos. Um, I appreciate um, whoever's watching, I appreciate you guys 100%. I'm still growing, still learning how, um, how things work. Um, I definitely got, like I said before, a lot of videos coming out to you guys. Um, definitely have, like I, I think I pre mentioned in the previous video, I'm going to finish this up. Um, here within the next few days, one video per day, and then I'm definitely gonna have um, have what I think Chelsea um, their um, my player prediction ratings for that. And then on top of that, I'm gonna be creating videos on let you guys know what some potential starters are and the reasons for those, and and a whole bunch of other things as well before we build up to FIFA 19. Um, but go ahead and uh, check out. Um, my Instagram, Twitter, and uh, Twitch, they're all down below. Go ahead, check me out there. The links are down below. Um, like I said before, I'm just excited to be here, and let's go ahead and get started. Um, number 60 through 41. One of the things I always want to make before every video, these are just predictions and not actual ratings. Also, I got the foot designs, or the, the card designs from Footbin, and they got it from Criminal FIFA, so I just want to thank both of them for doing what they're doing and allow me to do videos like this. I really, really appreciate it. Also, another quick note is that uh, I didn't change any of the pace shooting, any of the stats for the cards. Um, the only thing I changed was the ratings and the um, you know, some of the position change on some of these players. Um, but just to remind everyone, I use four data points, and these four data points are, I start with the base winner upgrades, that's so what happened in February of FIFA 18, um, then I use whoscore.com, so uh, whoscore.com did some analytics on the past history and used um, some interesting data points, and I use their scores, I also use online seasons um, outside of uh, um, FIFA Ultimate Team, so it's one of the other modes um, in FIFA. Um, and on top of that, I of course use my personal opinion. And so, and so all of these weighted average, um, all of these have a weight of about 25%, which I think is very, very fair. So my personal opinion won't skew anything. Online seasons won't really skew anything, um, unless it's very large. But, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started for you guys, and let's go ahead and start with number 60. Which is drumroll, ooh, Azi Look at that. Uh, I use this card a lot. I thought this card was awesome. I actually use his team of the season now as a center defensive mid because it's so good and his long shots are amazing. Um, winner upgrade, of course, is an 86. He no one got downgraded in um, in January, February when all of this went down. Um, but he didn't get. Uh, he did get upgraded to an 80 from an 85 to an 86. Um, who scored actually is going to give him a one rating increase to an 87. Uh, online seasons and person, my personal opinion, uh, just an 86 as well. I love Chelsea. I, I, you know, they're my number one team. Um, just how they, the way they played last season. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this card necessarily deserves or any of them deserved a rating boost in in Chelsea, except for a few players, a couple of players. But out of the three players that probably did deserve a rating boost, it'd probably be um, Azi Pelicueta. Well, let's go ahead. Number 59, which is Pijanic. I have a hard time pronouncing his name. Number 59. Um, so 86 all around, other than who scored has an 87. I'm actually going to be excited to see him play with Ronaldo. This dude's a quarterback. This dude's um, this dude's a point guard. Uh, this dude's just the when he's on the football field, he's controlling the ball. And really, I when I was watching him play early on this already this season and last season is just he's the one that's essentially running the game and is he's, he's the moderate essentially for Juventus. You know, he everyone feeds from him. And he's uh, he's making those key passes, so I think it's going to be amazing to play. I see his card actually possibly getting a rating increase to that 87, like who who scored said, but he's definitely not going to get downgraded. Um, number 58, um, I have Marco Royce. There you go. Um, he was hurt a lot quite a, quite a bit last season. Um, I do think he should get a rating bump though because he's he's a baller. Um, eight online seasons actually gives him an 85. Who scored actually gives him a rating increase as well. Just because when he came in last season, he did um, do pretty well towards the end of the season. And additionally to that, um, in the World Cup, he performed uh, pretty well. 
Um, winner upgrade, uh, he didn't get upgraded nor downgraded, of course, so he just stay at 86. And the overall rating is at 86.25, and I believe that's what the previous ones were, too. Number 57. Is Immobile, look at this dude. I know this dude got a solid um, rating increase uh, This this in, in the winter upgrade. I believe he went from an 82 to an 85, um, which is a three rating, in, uh, a, yeah, 82 to 85, it's a three rating increase. Who scored actually is giving him an 88, so an additional three rating increase. I mean, this dude had an unbelievable season last season in the Cal CO8. It, it was awesome. He was, he was Lazio's top scorer last season. Um, online seasons currently has him at 86. I think to be ultimately fair, a two rating increase for Immobile to an 87 would be would be great. I think he well deserves this card, um, and he's already performing well for Lazio um, this this current season. He scored an amazing goal against um, I think it was Napoli, I believe. So yeah, I'm excited to see him. He's definitely a player that you guys would want to watch if you guys are a Calcio fan, Serie A fans, Calcio A Serie A. Um, if you guys are definitely fans of him, definitely watch him. Watch some Lazio games because it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome to watch him. Eighty six point five overall. By the way, eighty six point five overall. So I do give him that increase to that eighty seven. Arturo Vidal. Look at this. The transfer to Barcelona. One of the best meta meta players in the game. You know him and Raja Golan, both of them are amazing both of them transfer to new clubs so they both of them will probably have potential um, ones to watch uh, I think this is going to be a great investment card as well um, winner upgrade he didn't get upgraded nor downgraded I think he was actually hurt a little bit during the season for Bayern Munich um, I don't think he got too many team of the season or team of the weeks who scored actually is giving him a one rating increase at 88 I my personal opinion and my and online seasons currently has him at 86. Uh, I just think he um, he didn't do enough last season to really get uh, that rating increase. I mean, Chile didn't even make the World Cup, uh, so I just I don't think uh, I think he has a lot to prove. We're well, not a lot to prove necessarily, but if he does well at Barcelona and is able to make some team um, a few team of the weeks, I definitely think he'll get a rating increase in the next winter upgrade. Number fifty five is James Rodriguez. Now, this dude's a baller. This dude's a stud. He was previously um, Arturo Vidal's teammate. Um, who scored is giving him that one uh, rating increase, uh, as well as online seasons currently has him as an 87. And personal, my personal opinion is at 87. It was a shame to see him hurt in the World Cup. I it was fun watching him in the first in the group stage. Um, it sucked to see him hurt on the bench against England, uh, which ultimately I think helped England out quite a bit. <laughs> Uh, but overall rating of 86.75, and this dude's going to be definitely scoring some some amazing goals for Bayern Munich. All right, number 54 is Isco. Now, a lot of you guys might actually be surprised that he's an 87 rating. And the reason why I'm saying you're surprised is because many of you probably think he's going to be an 89, 88 rated. And I actually think there's confirmation that he's an 89 rated for East, uh, in Isco from the GamesCon, I believe. However, though, I mean, I just don't, I think, you know, my personal opinion is I have him at an 88. I definitely think he, he was he was amazing for Spain. Don't get me wrong. Um, Real Madrid, he did well. It was, it's probably hard for him to shine behind Ronaldo and Bale and, you know, the, the, the top top scores there, uh, especially with Modric as well. But I think he's going to have a breakout year this year, and he's going to deserve that 89 rating card. Um, who scored does give him that one rating increase. Online sees him. Online Seasons currently has him as an 86. I thought an 88 would be fair. Um, 87 as well, I think, is fair. Um, but an overall rating of 86.75. So round that up to an 87. Um, but there, like I said before, there is confirmation that he is an 89, which I think, honestly, is probably a little too high. Um, 88 is probably, honestly, looking back at this when I did this, 88 might be a little too high as well. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, number 53 is Parashek. Now, this dude, this card, I was a big fan of Parashek. I've always been. Um, it just sucks because his gameplay, like, actually in FIFA, I, do, I don't think reflects the stats on his cards. Um, he did amazing for Inter, so many Team of the Weeks. Uh, Inter, there's going to be a lot of Calcia A players, um, especially specifically from Inter, who who are going to um, who are gonna be used quite a bit, and I think Parashek would be one of them. Um, a strong link with uh, Nangolin as well. I think Parashek is going to be used a lot more in FIFA 19. Um, 
who scored actually gives them a two rating increase to an 88. Online season actually gives them a one rating decrease currently to an 85. But I think Parashek is well deserved for an 88 rating, and so that's why I give him just based on his previous season performance. Um, but uh, overall rating of 86.75, I have definitely hoped to see him at an 87, at least, at least at an 87. Um, but we'll see, we'll see what's going on. All right, number 52 is Robin for Bayern Munich. Um, I Overall, I personally think he should get a two rating um, decrease just because he's getting to that age. Um, he didn't get upgraded at all, but he didn't get downgraded. I think if they did come out with downgrades, he would have gone on one rating down uh, decrease. Who scored and online seasons do give him that 87. I personally think an 86. Um, but his overall rating uh, throughout the four data points is giving him an 87. Number 51 is PK, number 80, he's 87 rated as well. Um, just you know, through all four data points, and 87 I believe is well deserved. Uh, for Spain, he, he did all right. Um, there's a lot that he should he could have done more. I mean, he played phenomenally for Barcelona. He got the team of the season. He's just, a, he's, he's a tank. Um, but rating increase to an 88, I'm, I'm just not quite sure of it. Um, but an 87 rating is fair enough. If he does get an 88 rating, um, if he does get a one rating increase, I hope they boost his physicality and, of course, his defense. The pace is all right for me. I, I could deal with the pace. It's PK. He's going to be playing a lot better anyway. He's going to have a he's going to have better gameplay anyways. All right, number 50 is Hamsik. Look at that. Boom from Napoli. Again with Hamsik. I mean, he had, he had a great season with Napoli last season. Uh, but uh, all around, with all four data points, it's an 87. This card has very great potential to be one of the best meta cards if his defensive and physicality stats get boosted. We'll see. I mean, his long shots are amazing. I know I used his um, his SBC, his leg league SBC card, which was great for me. Um, pace wasn't increased as much as I thought it should be, but overall, it was a great card. Um, I'm excited to use him. I know this card is going to be expensive as well. Any really high-rated card from the Calcio A or Serie A league is going to be expensive, and I think this card would be used a lot more. Number 49. Here we go. The, the man, the myth, the legend, Mohamed Salah. Now, overall, I personally think he should definitely get a three rating increase. Um, he had a phenomenal season last season. I mean, if, if you look at his charts, it's just it's it's up like this. He's just going up and up and up, and he's going to have an amazing season this season with um, Liverpool. I definitely think his shooting should be at least 80, 81 with the, with the gold, you know, the standard gold rated card. Um, winner upgrade, he did get upgraded from an 82 to an 85. Um, who scored has him at an 88. My personal opinion should be an 88, and an online seasons is an 87. So we're definite. I believe we're definitely going to see a rating increase. I'm hoping it's an 88. Um, we're really dragging him down is that winner upgrade 85. So overall rating of an 87, which I think is more than fair. But I'm hoping to see that 88. He, it's, it's well, well, well deserved, and hopefully he does win or gets second place in Ballon d'Or. He, I think he he deserves it. Especially how he ended the Champions League. I'll just leave that one there. Number 48 is Ozil. Mesut Ozil. I believe I pronounced that right. I actually think he's going to get a 1 rating. Or personally, I think he's going to get a 2 rating decrease. Overall, 1 rating decrease. Um, just because he, he didn't play well for Arsenal last year. For Germany, it was eh. I mean, a lot, it's it's the reason I think a lot of German Germans are going to get downgraded this FIFA 19. I think a lot of France players are going to get upgraded in FIFA 19. To be honest, um, but even for Arsenal last season, he played okay. Yeah, he did have some great goals, but and some great assists. Um, but who scored keeps him at the 88 rated. Um, online seasons currently has him at an 87. I think an 86. So an overall rating of 87.25. I'm hoping since he's behind um, Mbamiang that he's just able to just kick the ball. Just he's, essentially, I think what Arsenal needs to do is if they if they just copy what France did and play heavy on one side and run the four two three one and just have um, Ozil and um, right next to Mbamiang and Mbamiang just run and they flick it to him. I think I think it's going to work out well for him. All right, y'all, number forty seven. 
There's Aubameyang. Look at that. I didn't have that one planned. Um, but again, I think Aubameyang is going to get one rating, uh, overall two rating decrease, just the way he played last season. Um, and, and really, the how he left um, Borussia Dortmund, I don't think he left on very great terms. Um, just a very poor season. I think he deserves a two rating decrease to that 86. Online seasons does have him at 87. Um, who scored keeps him at 88. Overall, you know, he, he might, he, I think he will get re, um, get downgraded um, by at least one point. I th Now looking back at 86 might be a little too harsh, but at the same time, I don't think so. Just the way um, he left for Usher Dortmund. Um, but overall rating of 87.25. All right, number 46 is Verratti. Now, no one ever uses this card, um, which is which is sad. I, I think so. It's just because of his stats. I mean, 65 pace, 59 shooting. Like, 59 shooting? Who is going to use this as a center mid? And his defense is just, he's a, he's a dribbler and a passer um, with actually decent defense. I think he's going to stay at an 87. Um I uh, he's I think I do think he's a he's a focal point for PSG. He's a valuable player. His dribbling and his passing is amazing. His defense all right, but the other three are just um, maybe in a slower game, especially playing FIFA 19. In a slower game, this card might be actually very very useful um, since if if it won't be all about pace. Um, but who scored actually gives him a win rating increase overall though he stays at an 87. So I think an 87.25 is, um, is his overall rating. I think he, this card should stay at an 87. No increase or decrease from um, for Verratti. All right, number 45 is Busquets. Uh, this card could be used a lot more. Like I said before, it's sad that his pace is 40, but I mean, watching him play recently, he doesn't. He just he doesn't run. Um, so overall rating though throughout is at 87. Who scored actually gives him a one a one rating increase. Um, I I don't know about that. Just looking at the stats now, I'm surprised that he is an 87. Um, he might actually get a rating decrease to an 86 if his pace goes any lower. Um, but we'll see. Uh, I mean, Busquets is well deserved for an 87 rated card because he just has so much history behind him. Um, I'm excited to see him play with Malcolm and uh, and. Uh, uh, Usa Dembele. I think I think Barcelona is going to be great this year. They're probably going to win La Liga Santora again, um, but we'll see. 87 overall rated. It's, I believe this card is going to stay the same, unless there's confirmed cards out there that he does get a rating increase. Um, however, let's go to number 44, which is Ter Stegen. Look at that back-to-back -back Barcelona players. I think Ter Stegen is going to stay out of 87. He did get a rating increase from 85 to an 87. Um, I think he, he's going to continue to get rating increases if he continues to perform, and especially if uh, Barcelona had the start of the season this season, this season as they did last season, he'll definitely get another rating increase um, after winter upgrades. Who scored does have him at 88. Um, pers I personally think 87 is well-deserved. Um, nothing lower, nothing higher, and online seasons does keep him at an 87. So overall rating of 87.25. Number 43, we have Coutinho, another Barcelona player. There we go. Um, Brazilian, the transfer from last season. Um, overall rating of 87. Who scored actually has him at an 88. I think this is going to be his season. He already scored a goal for Barcelona. I think he's going to have a phenomenal season, um, essentially a breakout season for Barcelona. I, I keep him at 87, though, just because um, just because we'll see how he did. At the end of uh, last season, he did score some goals, but um, not enough, I think, to really get that rating increase. Um, but his score does give him at an 88, so I wouldn't be surprised if he does jump up to an 88. Definitely, definitely not, not being downgraded. Um, so overall rating of 87.25, and that's why he comes in at number 43. Hopefully his pace increases a little bit too. Or shooting, his curve, especially his curve. He's been working on that curve outside the box um, with his right foot. So hopefully that will be um, something that they implement into FIFA 19. Number 42 is Icardi. Uh, now this, for Inter, he just had a phenomenal season last season. He was on multiple team of the season or team of the weeks. He had a great team of the season card. Um, I believe he did get a rating increase um, from winter upgrades, and so that just boosted all of his um, team of the weeks. Who scored has actually given him a two rating increase to an 88. 
Um, online seasons does give him a one rating increase, and I personally think he's he is he's well deserved in, as an 88. I think he should have been in the World Cup instead of uh, some of the other ones. Um, but I think that's just a little bit of favoritism. Um, but I'll end there with <laughs> with that. I think he well, other than he should have been in the World Cup, providing some assistance, providing. Um, really just just another weapon for Argentina to have um 87.25 overall I definitely think this card is gonna or Icardi is gonna get a one at least a one rating increase um hopefully two though but we'll we'll see I don't know if his any of his ratings are confirmed Number 41, and the last one, we have Marcelo, 87. Now, I think there's some reports that he did get confirmed as an 88, um, which I personally think he should be. Um, but online seasons and who, who scored keeps him at an 87. I mean, this dude is an essential piece for Real Madrid, um, especially with that link with uh, with Ronaldo at times. Um, he scored some amazing goals in, in the Champions League. This dude just goes all out. I hope, hopefully his work rate um, jumps up to a high high. Um, who scored online seasons 87 um, overall rating of 87.25. But I'm hoping to see this card get the 88. I'm hoping for Marcelo to get the 88 that he deserves and increase his pace. I don't think his pace is a 78. Definitely at least an 84, 85. Um, but that's it for you guys. Um, that's what I got. Uh, that's um, number 60 through 41 for you guys. I'll definitely be dropping another video tomorrow going over 40 through 21. And then I'll be dropping a following video, um, 20 through 10, and then 10 through 1 um, in the next few days. Um, definitely a video once a day. Uh, but go ahead. I mean, if you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you guys didn't like the video, give me a thumbs down. Um, leave any comments of what you guys would like to um like to see me do better, like to see some improvements. Um, just give me some feedback, whether it's positive or negative. Um, but I really appreciate um, the viewers who are watching this. Um, go ahead. Like I said, my social media links are down below on Twitter. It's uh, at YouGreenFoot. Um, Twitch is uh, JimmyG23, like it is on YouTube. And then Instagram is JimmyGG23, because someone already took the name. Um, but yeah, that's it, y'all. I appreciate uh, everyone watching, and uh, I'll talk to you. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.